welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another What I Eat in a Day on WW. If you're new here, I am on Weight Watchers, also known as WW. I am currently on the Blue Plan and I follow a clean approach to the WW program, which basically means that I eat as clean as possible. So the recipes and the food that you see throughout today are going to be good whole ingredients, real food, and I'm excited to share today's food with you and also this dinner recipe phenomenal i'm going to share a couple of hauls with you you'll get to spend some time with diesel and lola which i know you guys love and we're just going to have an overall super fun day so if you want to see what i eat in a day on ww to lose weight stay tuned on the run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other You just know how to push all my buttons Moved out of town and I erased your number But still I find myself calling in the middle of the night And there is nothing I can do I am madly drawn to you I know you feel the Well, good morning. Do you guys want a treat? You want treats? All right, little turd. Here you go. Here you go. Good job, guys. Good morning. So excited. My nutrition order came. And as you can see, I mega stocked up on my fiber gourmet pasta. Look, you guys, they changed the packaging and they came out with a new pasta. So let me show you what I grabbed. So I have the light spaghetti. This is the old packaging from Fiber Gourmet. Fiber Gourmet pasta is three smart points for two ounces. So it's about half the points of any other pasta. Now it has reasonable ingredients. It's not honestly the best ingredients, but... I don't care for a lot of the veggie type of pasta, so I'm willing to make an exception. And again, the ingredients aren't terrible. There is 19 grams of fiber and eight grams of protein in the serving. That's another thing I love about the Fiber Gourmet. So the light spaghetti is still coming in the old packaging, but look at this, you guys. This is a new pasta. This is the new packaging. I absolutely love it. So this is the linguine. So that is a brand new shape of pasta that Fiber Gourmet's never had before. And I really, truly just love the packaging. Here is your nutritional information on the back. And it looks like the ingredients are the same. But look at this. 100 calories per serving, 25 grams of fiber, only 17 net carbs. And there it is compared to traditional pastas. Look at that fiber difference. And it is less than half the calories. And to be honest with you, we like the fiber gourmet pasta taste and texture way better than regular pasta. So hence the reason I stocked up. I also got the rotini, the light penne, and the elbows. So we are all stocked up on our fiber gourmet. Also, in this order, I decided to grab a pack of the Chalk Zero Milk Chocolate. These actually have really good ingredients, and I believe that they are they're one or two smart points per serving. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But I went ahead and picked that up. And then I've been hearing all about these Peely Nuts, these Sprouted Peely Nuts. This is in the ranch. Now, they are a little bit high in smart points but they are supposed to be really, really good for you and a great like source of fat and protein. So I picked those up as well. So that's my nutrition order. If you're interested in the Fiber Gourmet Pasta, I will link nutrition down below. Simply click the link and you guys can go shopping, order from Nutrition. It's an amazing company. Highly, highly recommend the pasta. So here is my breakfast for today. I am excited. So I have two hard boiled eggs. I just topped them with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. So that is zero smart points. I am on the blue plan. And then I have just a little bowl here of some organic fresh blueberries. These blueberries are delicious, by the way. Pretty darn good for not even being in season. And then I decided to make myself an English muffin. These are the English muffins I use. These are the Ezekiel Food for Life for nine sprouted grain 
Love these. You, you find these in the freezer section of your grocery store and you keep them in the freezer section because they are sprouted grain and flourless. They don't have any preservatives, so they don't last if you don't keep them in the freezer. So I have one of those. And then I topped it with one tablespoon of this Trader Joe's organic creamy salted peanut butter. I just weigh that out on my food scale and that is three smart points. Oh, I didn't mention the English muffin is four. So it's seven smart points total for this morning's breakfast. All right, it's 10.15, I need an energy boost. I wanted to show you guys these. I actually just got my order yesterday Yesterday, so it's the first time that I tried it, but these are the Zevia zero calorie energy drinks. So I don't usually drink these because they have really terrible ingredients, but you guys know, well, right here, that I love the Zevia Pop. So I decided to pick up the case on Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. But there are several types of energy flavored drinks. This is the cola. It has 120 milligrams of caffeine, no artificial sweeteners, zero sugar. It's non-GMO. They are zero calories and zero points. Here are your ingredients. So it looks like carbonated water, organic stevia leaf extract. That's not my favorite. I wish it was stevia leaf, organic caffeine, tartaric acid, natural flavors, which I don't love either, and citric acid. But it doesn't have any sugar alcohol. So I was really excited about that or any artificial sweeteners. So it's the cleanest energy drink that I could find for the price. So I got this entire case and I want to say it was a dozen of them for $19.99. So let me show you all the flavors. So you saw the cola. There's also the grapefruit. This is the one I think I'm gonna have today. And this is the mango and ginger. This sounds really good. You guys know I love like ginger because I love kombucha and ginger flavored kombucha. And then the kind I actually had yesterday for the first time was this raspberry lime. This one was really, really good. So I'm going to have the mango ginger and I'll let you guys know what I think, but I'll link the case down below. If you're looking for a pretty clean energy drink, this is a great one. Okay, this is really good. Hello, how are you? Look at, I got everybody around. Hi, bud. But yeah, this one is pretty good. This is the mango ginger. I actually like this better than that raspberry lime. Yeah, this one is really, really good. So I'm gonna have this as a little mid-morning boost. This will carry me through until I have some lunch. So here is today's lunch. This is actually from my meal prep and I'm so excited for this. This is a quinoa taco bowl so on the bottom here i have a mixture of quinoa black beans pinto beans and taco seasoning this recipe is on my website so make sure you check it out highly recommend you watch my meal prep video i walk you through step by step how i made this I just have some sliced up tomatoes. I have one point worth of the Siete lime tortilla chips. I just crumbled those up and added those. I have a mixture here of some lettuce and some cilantro, some salsa. I just used this paste salsa, so that is zero points. And then I made some homemade guacamole with one of the teeny tiny avocados. They look like this, they're small, they're from Trader Joe's. And then I just added some lime juice and a little bit of garlic salt and that is two points worth of avocado. So the quinoa bowl itself, the quinoa mixture at the bottom is three smart points. All I have to count is the quinoa because I'm on the blue plan. The beans are zero. Two points worth of guacamole, one point worth of chips. So this is a six smart point lunch. I may also have a fruit, and if I do, I'll show you guys what I'm having. I'm just gonna see how full I am from the bowl itself, but cannot wait to dig in. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a sumo mandarin as part of my lunch as well. This is gonna be kind of my dessert slash the rest of my lunch. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. So of course this is zero points. After lunch I decided I wanted something a little sweet. So I'm having some of these, you guys, I'm obsessed with these. I mentioned these in my meal prep video. These are so good. These are the Lily Bee Grain Free Brownie Thins in Chocolate Mint. They literally taste like the crunchy corners of brownies. They are so good. They're paleo. They have excellent ingredients, like excellent, excellent ingredients. So I have one half of a serving, 14 grams, and this is what it looks like. So that's what the little brownie thins look like. They're a little, they literally are like the crunchy corners of brownies. They're so good. So you can have 14 grams, half of a serving for two smart points. So I'm gonna have a little two smart point dessert after lunch, and again, Love these, I got these on the Thrive Market. And don't forget there's a link down in the description box for free goodies on the Thrive Market. 
My Thrive order is here. It took a little bit longer than normal. Normally I get my order within a couple of days, but they're slammed of course like everyone else. So it just came in and I'm so excited. I found a ton of new great things. I am going to put the points and prices here on the screen for you guys. So let's jump into my Thrive haul. First I picked up some organic coconut chips. So I like the organic coconut flakes, but I thought the chips, cause they're a little bit bigger. Sorry about the lighting, it's really sunny in here. I thought that the chips would be a little bit better for smoothie bowls so i generally will just use about a tablespoon of them so i'm going to point the points here on the screen for a, a tablespoon which is half a, a traditional serving but all this is is just organic coconut chips i also got these because sometimes I just need some fruit snacks. So these are the Yum Earth Gummy Bears. They come in these little individual packets. There's 10 snack packs in here. They have excellent, excellent ingredients and the flavors are pomegranate pucker, mango tango, perfectly peach and strawberry smash. So I'm really excited about those. You know I love my Mary's Gone Crackers. I picked up a second box, my repeat purchase of my Super Seed. I just finished the last box. And then I also found lemon dill. How good does that sound? These would be amazing with tuna fish, like a tuna salad. Oh, cannot wait. So I picked up two more boxes. Thrive has the least expensive price I've ever seen on Mary's Gone Crackers. And these are the best ingredient crackers that you're going to find. And they're really good. And then I restocked my unsweetened toasted coconut flakes. Now these ones are toasted. So can you see how they're a little bit yellowed? I thought that would be even better than the unsweetened. And as far as uh, nutritional information, you actually get three tablespoons of these. So you actually get more for the smart points. So I'm going to put the points, of course, here on the screen for you guys. But I thought these would be really good in smoothie bowls on top of yogurt, quinoa bowls. Yum. Also picked up some of the Thrive Organic Black Ground Chia Seeds. I have decided I don't like whole chia seed in my smoothie, but I want the nutritional benefits of chia seed. So this is just ground. So I'm excited. I'll be able to toss a scoop of that into my smoothies or smoothie bowls. You can also mix this in with really yogurt or anything because it's all ground up. You won't have the actual full seed, but you still get all of the same health benefits. So love that. And then I grabbed some of Navitas, which is my favorite brand of cacao anything. I have their cacao nibs. This is their organic cacao powder. And again, just something nice to have on hand to throw into smoothies for a little bit of chocolate goodness. It is 60 calories for two and a half tablespoons. I generally put in one tablespoon. So I mean, really it's minimal, 20 calories. So really excited to have that. Then I found a dressing that I'm extremely excited about. This is the Primal Kitchen Honey Mustard made with avocado oil. So honey mustard is my favorite dressing of all time. So I was really excited to find this and the ingredients are fantastic. The nutritional information is not too bad. So I'm excited to have this so that I have a good dressing on hand for salads. And then of course from Primal Kitchen, my very favorite ketchup, which is their organic unsweetened. If you guys have not tried this, this ketchup beats Heinz and G Hughes hands down. It is so freaking delicious i love it it's thick it's so good so i restocked that thrive does have the lowest price so super excited to that that was in stock and then here's a new thing i found this is patience fruit and go organics and this is their choco crunch bites dark chocolate and coconut so these look really good here is your nutritional information of course points will be here on the screen so again if you want to just lower the points value just lower the amount of the serving size your ingredients are fantastic in this so I'm excited to have this for kind of those chocolate times where I just need some chocolate and I love coconut. So this is a perfect pairing. I bought these a couple times ago and I love these. These are the wholesome cinnamon organic bears. These are so good. The cinnamon in these is like cinnamon that you put out of a spice shaker. It is so good. They are not the most point friendly, but I generally will just save these for the day that I use my weeklies, or I might just have one or two if I'm really craving candy. I love these. And the price at Thrive, I get this whole bag for the price of a very small bag at my local store. So I to pick those up. Another new find are these Lily Bee Grain Free Brownie Thins in Chocolate Mint. Another thing I love is chocolate mint anything. So these are paleo because they do not have any grains. They are only 120 calories, 
for one ounce. Here is your nutritional information. So really, really good ingredient. And again, I like to have snacky sweet things on hand because it keeps me away from the things I shouldn't be eating. So I'm excited for those and those to try them. And then of course these. And then I picked up three packs of the Garden Ranch seasoning mix so that I can make my own ranch. These are from the company Primal Palette. So the ingredients in Hidden Valley Ranch powder is are terrible. So I wanted to find a dupe for that. I'm trying to see, oh, there's your ingredients right there. So there's no added sugar. There's no artificial anything. I mean, that's it, you guys. Onion, onion garlic, salt, dill weed, parsley, chives, and black pepper. So can't beat it. So I'm gonna make my own ranch dressing, my own ranch dip, all things ranch. You can even put this as into like meat or coat chicken in it. So I was so excited that the ingredients were good. So I picked up three. And last but not least, I did buy the Whole Earth little packets, but I wanted these as well. These are the monk fruit sweetener packets. So these are just the individual little packets that I like to put in my coffee, and they're pre-portioned, so perfect zero calories, zero points. So I've actually not seen these in any local store, and then the price was really good as well. So that is this week's. It'll probably be a couple weeks before I do another order, but this Thrive order. So if you haven't joined the Thrive Market, highly recommend. It's great, everything is just shipped to your doorstep, free shipping. They do have a promotion right now that if you sign up for a year membership, you'll get $20 in free product of your choice. They have household, beauty, pet, you name it, on their website. Prices cannot be beat and literally everything and anything healthy and organic that you could possibly find. Save yourself from going to several stores, have it shipped to your doorstep, avoid the virus, and just highly recommend joining the Thrive. You will not be sorry. I will link Thrive Market's discount link down below so you guys can take advantage of the free product, but you know I love Thrive. All right, guys, it's afternoon snack time. I made myself a green smoothie. Oh, it looks so incredibly delicious. Let me show you guys what's in my smoothie. So what I generally do is buy bananas, let them get really, really ripe to where they're almost overripe, and then I freeze them. So I put about one half of a banana in my smoothie. And then I do the same thing with bags of kale and spinach is I go ahead and just bag it up into individual little bags and I add that and that's what gives it this nice green color but also gives me a big dose of greens. I always put just a tiny bit of coconut water just as that extra liquid to blend up the smoothie. I don't even use enough to count a point because you can actually have a cup for one point, I think maybe two points, but I don't even use enough, so it's zero. And then I use three points worth of the Santa Cruz organic apple juice. That's what really heightens the sweetness, and it's so good for you. And then I pick a fruit. So this today, I use this organic dragon fruit supreme blend. I just picked out some of the peaches and the mango, maybe a third of a cup, maybe, of frozen fruit plus the little bit of frozen banana blend it all up and the only thing that I count points for is the apple juice so it is three smart points for my green smoothie so I want to share a product with you guys a lot of you ask about my husband which I really appreciate if you didn't know my husband has quite a bit of medical issues which causes him to have high blood pressure so this company eTech City you guys know I love them I have several of their products I have their body weight scale their food scale and I also have their foot massager and I love all of them they actually reached out and asked if I was interested in their blood pressure monitor and originally I said no but then I asked my husband he said yes yes get it because I'm supposed to be testing my blood pressure at home so I was like well let's get it I don't know how accurate it's gonna be how great it's gonna be but they're gonna send it to us so I'll have you try it out so this is what the box looks like that it came in it's just an upper arm blood pressure monitor so this is the actual cuff that it comes with this is the blood pressure monitor itself which is actually really really nice and it has a USB charging port and then it came with this nice bag to store it in so let me just tell you guys, this thing is so accurate. I had my husband just yesterday take his blood pressure before he went to his doctor's appointment at home with this blood pressure monitor. It was exactly the same as at the doctor's office. Super easy to use. You literally start and stop it. You put the cuff on, start it, takes your blood pressure, turn it off, and you have an accurate reading. So I really, really like it. I think it's awesome. So I just wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of you have some of the same medical issues. You've shared that with me in past videos. So if you're interested in this blood pressure monitor, I'll link it down below for you guys. 
I don't have an affiliate link or anything. They just sent it to me to try and I'm giving you my honest review. So just wanted to share it with you because it's really affordable and I could not believe how accurate it was. And I do love that it has this storage case. So we just literally leave it in the storage case in our hallway closet and then we have it available if we need to check blood pressure. So highly recommend if it's something you're interested in. So for tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making a ham and cheese rotini pasta. I'm very excited about this. I've been craving a ham and cheese sandwich and I found this recipe. I was able to modify it to not only make it WW friendly, but also make it have good whole ingredients. So I can't wait. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. You're going to need some pasta. Of course, I'm using the Fiber Gourmet. You guys know this is my all-time favorite pasta. You can actually have two ounces of this pasta for three smart points. Now, traditional pasta is five to six smart points for two ounces. So it's about half, and it is so delicious. It has pretty good ingredients. It has high fiber, 19 grams, eight grams of protein, and only 23 net carbs. So it's a lot lower in carbs, has fiber, has protein. It's just an all around better pasta. The texture and the taste is delicious. I buy this on the Nutrition website. That website is linked down below. They actually have hundreds of WW friendly products. So I highly recommend that you check them out. I primarily buy my pasta through there, but there are a few other items that I pick up as well. So check out Nutrition. This is some organic all-purpose flour. I'm going to be using this forager cashew milk. You could use non-fat, almond milk, whatever you have on hand. Some pepper and garlic powder. This is the butter that I'm using. This is the melt plant-based butter. I'll be using the Trader Joe's organic mozzarella cheese. This is pretty low in points. You can have a quarter cup for two smart points. I have some fresh spinach here. And last but not least, I have some Simple Truth ham cubes. I won't be using both packs, but about one and a half packs. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get some water coming to a boil here so we can go ahead and cook down our pasta. I also have a large pan here. You can either use a Dutch oven or just a large stock pot. I'm going to go ahead and add my two tablespoons of butter. I did want to let you guys know that I have the recipe just because there's only two of us and I didn't want to make such a large batch. So I will include the original recipe in on my website and that way you have the option of doing an original recipe or having that like I did. So we're going to let this butter melt down, let this come to a boil so we can add in our pasta. All right, once your butter is melted, we're going to go ahead and add in one quarter cup of the flour. And again, mine was just the organic all purpose. I picked that up at Thrive. Mix that up a little bit, and then we are gradually going to add in our one cup of our cashew or whatever milk it is that you're using. And you want to go ahead and stir that as you add in the milk. It's going to form a roux. And then I went ahead and added my pasta, so it is starting to cook. We're going to allow this to go ahead and come to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you're just going to continually stir it for about two minutes or so or until it has thickened. And then we're going to add in our spices and our cheeses. Once the roux is nice and thick, we're going to go ahead and add in one quarter cup of Parmesan. And we're going to add in one cup of mozzarella, which I did measure out on my food scale. And then we're going to add in some pepper. I'm just going to add a little bit. And lastly, some garlic powder. And then we're gonna give this a stir, get this mixed together until the cheese has melted. And then we'll be ready to go ahead and add in our pasta. Our pasta is just about done, so it should be perfect timing. So we'll get this nice and stirred together, get that cheese melted, and then we'll add in our pasta. We feel the And the last step, I went ahead and added in one and a half packs of the ham and about one and a half cups of fresh spinach. We're gonna get this mixed together, pull out a baking dish, and this is actually gonna go into the oven to bake for about 25 minutes. So the last step was I went ahead and transferred the mix to my greased baking dish. Doesn't this look so delicious? And then this is going to go in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or just until it is heated through. I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some corn for dinner. This is the Stallbush Island Farms Sustainable 
earth friendly, super sweet corn, non-GMO. Pick this up at my local health food store. I've never tried this brand, but it was on sale. It was about $1.79 a bag, which is not bad at all. So I'm just going to throw this into a microwave safe dish throw it in my microwave. Oh, and this company is local to my state, Washington. So I wanted to make sure that I supported a local company as well. So I'm gonna cook us up some corn. So here is our completed ham and cheese rotini. Excuse the microwave, we've got some corn cooking. But there is our completed pasta. It looks so good. It makes six servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up one sixth of the pasta and some corn and I'll be back to show you my dinner and give you the smart points. So here is two nights dinner. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for this. So I have one sixth of the ham and cheese rotini. One sixth is only six smart points and that is on all plans. Also, if you do the full recipe and divide it into 12 servings, it remains at the six smart points per serving for all the plans. And then I have one half of a cup of that corn. You guys, this corn is outstanding. And that is zero points, of course. I just made sure that I didn't overeat the corn. So my dinner tonight is a total of six smart points. I'm gonna have a built Bar for dessert tonight. I have not even tried this yet. This is the oatmeal cookie with walnuts. This bar, unfortunately, is no longer available, but with their current promotion that they have going on right now, you could actually earn this for free in your box. Now, I don't know if that promotion, those limited flavors will still be available, but if so, you could still potentially give this one a try. This one is a nut-based bar, so it is four smart points. All of the rest of the bars that are not nut-based, so your vanilla, mint, strawberry, raspberry, those types of things are three smart points. This one has 160 calories, 18 grams of protein, seven fiber and five fat. So it is four smart points and that is going to finish out my day today. If you're interested in Built Bar, I do have a code for 10% off and free shipping. If the promotion is still running, I will put the code down in the description box. You do have to actually click a link to get the 15% off that they're currently running and free shipping. And if you're new to Built Bar, there is a special code for $10 off of your first order. So if you are new, make sure you go to the description box and use that special link to get the $10 off. So this is going to be my four smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on the WW program. I hope you enjoyed seeing tonight's dinner recipe, all my food throughout the day, spending some time with Diesel and Lola, my hauls, and just hope that you had fun with us today. Also, I wanted to remind you guys that the recipes are no longer down in the description box as I'm excited to announce that as of Sunday, I have my own website. And on that website are all of my recipes, detailed instructions. You're going to find all of my discount codes in one centralized place. Just a really fun, well-rounded place to head on over and take a look at. Make sure you enter your email so you can take part in giveaways, newsletters, and all the things. Also, all of the links for the products that I shared today are down in the description box as well. I'm still going to be putting those down there, but the recipes as well as those product links will be over on my website. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Please thumbs up this video if you love these what I eat in a days and leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've head on over and join my website. Let me know that you've joined it so that I can keep an eye out for your email to come through. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy, happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in my next video.